of i. Now, sine is a trig function. You probably remember that. Do you remember what sine of 1 is? I sure don't. I think it's some irrational number. But what is this physically? What do you actually get here? The sine of 1. Sine of 1 plus? Plus the sine of 1. No. No. Oh, no, plus the sine of 2. Plus the sine of 2 plus? The sine of 3. Sine of 3. OK. We're going to leave it there because all three of those are irrational numbers. Mm -hmm. You could maybe add them with the calculator or with Wolfram Alpha, but uh, that's about all we can do. Okay. However, in other cases, you might have something where you can add terms. So, for instance, let's refresh your memory on the natural logarithm. That is this delightful thing. It is the natural log, let's say the natural log 2 times i. Now the natural logarithm, you may remember, uh, is the thing that if y equals e to the x, if you have this function, and you have y and you need to get back to x, you'll rewrite that as a natural log. So mm -hmm. you would write x equals the natural logarithm of y. Those are the same equation. Mm -hmm. Okay, And just like you have some properties for adding exponents, you have the reverse properties for adding logarithms. So uh, let's see what property do you have up here. Well, if you're adding exponents up here, e to the x times e to the y, is the same as adding the exponents. Now, if this reverses inputs and outputs, then it shouldn't be too shocking. Here, you're adding the inputs, and you're multiplying the outputs. So what happens if you multiply the inputs down here? What if you have a natural log of, uh, let's say, a times b. If I'm adding the inputs here, I multiply the outputs. Here, if I multiply the outputs, I'm going to do what? We're going so to add Multiply the, the inputs. inputs, add the outputs. This is sort of one of three basic log properties. Why is it ln a plus ln a? Oh, it's not ln oh, okay. a plus ln a. That was a b. It was just sort of in its um, fetal stage. <laughs> it was growing, <laughs> maturing. Thank you. So that's one of them. Uh, just for the record, the other ones. You would minus. Look like this. And the natural log of a to the n power equals n times the natural log of a. Those things are things that you probably knew at some point, but uh, we have to recall them so we can do this kind of Pretty fun equation. Okay, so uh, how do we use those? By the way, this is working with a log where we have a base of e. No matter what your base is, if it's 7 or 15, you still have those properties. So we have this. First off, you're supposed to use the definition to tell me what it is. Um, the definition? Uh, what do you mean? Well, this is the definition of a function. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, you start with ln of 2 times 1. ln of 2 times 1, so mm -hmm. ln of 2 yeah. plus? Plus the ln of 2 times 2, which is 4. 4. And then the ln of 2 times 3, which is 6. ln of 6. What can I do with those? You can add them together. OK. Well, they, they're currently being added together, so I currently have natural logarithms being added. Yeah, you can combine them and you can factor out the ln and get the numbers okay. together. I can combine the Two numbers, but instead of adding six. them, what do we do? Multiply. Multiply. There we go. 2 times 4 is 8, times 6 is 48. Still an irrational number, but you're... Mm -hmm.